students welcome to physiology b in today's lecture we will uh, discuss course outline of physiology b we will see that what is the course code of our uh, physiology b according to pharmacy council so in today's lecture we will also see that we will study two different terms first one is physiology second one is pathophysiology we will discuss the difference between these two terms later on in our lectures now but in today's lecture we will see that what is the course line of physiology b what are the recommended books for physiology according to pharmacy council now in theory class but in theory of physiology b the course code is 318 and the credit hours are three the systems which we are going to study in physiology is first one is the circulatory system in circulation we will particularly study that what are the cells of the body what is plasma we will have general discussion on the fluid compartments we will see that what is a blood pressure then we will discuss a heart we will study anatomy of the heart we will see that what is cardiac output what are veins what are arteries what are capillaries we will see that what is blood volume what is resistance what is hypertension what is hypotension what is clot formation what is blood coagulation what is anti clotting system what are anti clotting drugs but we will have a general discussion on these anti clotting drugs as we are will study these drugs in detail in our pharmacology class in next few semesters now the next system which we are going to study in physiology b is respiration in respiration we will particularly see that what are lungs we will have general discussion on anatomy of the lungs on functions normal physiology of the lungs we will see that what are alveoli how they function what is the role of alveoli in respiration then we will uh, study that how gases are exchanged with the help of the lungs in the alveoli and the tissues how this respiratory system works as a buffer system which you have already studied in your biochemistry class then we will study that what is hypoxia what are the non respiratory functions of the lungs then we will move towards kidney definitely we will have general discussion on anatomy of the kidney then we will mainly discuss the functions of the kidney we will see how the ions are regulated by the kidney we will see that what is maturation we will see that how this kidney act as a buffer system for our body then we will study that what is acidosis what is alkalosis then we will have a general discussion on diuretics but later on in our fourth semester we will discuss these diuretics in detail then we will have a general discussion on kidney diseases as well then we will study digestion and absorption of the food definitely in this section in this chapter we will study our git tract git gastrointestinal tract so we will study that what are the function of gastrointestinal organ what is general anatomy of this system we will see that what is digestion how there is absorption of food definitely in this uh, class we will study absorption of uh, foods or nutrients then in pharmacology we will study how this system helps in absorption of drugs now we will study pathophysiology of git tract as well then we will move towards regulation of organic metabolism growth and energy balance there we will study that how uh, hemostasis works then we will have general discussion on few diseases like diabetes mellitus we will see that what is hormonal imbalance how hormones influence on growth we will study the regulation of the total body energy stores we will study regulation of body temperature as well however in your pharmacology class we have already studied that what is uh, what are the energy systems of of the body then we will move towards reproduction in reproduction we will have general discussion on anatomy of spermatogenesis we will discuss in detail the whole physiology of this reproductive system we will study principles of gametogenesis we will study transport of sperms hormonal control of male reproductive functions we will study ovarian functions we will study control of ovarian functions then we will 
study that what is sex determination, what is sex differentiation. We will study puberty, uh, uh, menopause. We will study uh, whole physiology of your uh, reproductive system. Then we will move towards the defense mechanism of the body. Definitely, we will study immune system in detail. We will study that what are the cells which are involved in the immune system, what are the cells which are involved in defense mechanism of our body. There we will study that uh, what are white blood cells. We will study how our immune system, our defense system works. We will study how our body can work against infections. We will study uh, that how your hormones release during stress. We will study physiological stress and diseases. Then we will study, we will also try to study pathophysiology. We will discuss physiology, we will discuss pathophysiology. When we will start our lectures, there we will have discussion on difference between physiology and pathophysiology. Now, what are the recommended books for your physiology B? You have already studied physiology in your first semester. Same are the books for physiology B. So, recommended books which are uh, recommended by the pharmacy council are strategies, human physiology. Then we have Samson's applied physiology. You can use guidance textbook of medical physiology. You can also consult your anatomy books because we have we will also have general discussion on anatomy of the systems. There is the list of anatomy books, uh, fundamentals of anatomy and physiology, anatomy and physiology, then clinical anatomy of medical students, then human anatomy and physiology. Then we can also use other books of human physiology, principles of anatomy and physiology, vendors, human physiology, review of medical physiology. So how are the main books which are recommended for your uh, for, uh, physiology are Guyton and Hall textbook of medical physiology. So this is the most recommended book and it's 14th edition is the latest one. Then you can, uh, I can prefer that you can use uh, Chatterjee's human physiology, uh, both volume one and volume two, 13th edition. Then you can use JP, Essentials of Medical Physiology. This is also a good book. So these three are actually the main books which you can consult for your notes for your physiology. So students, best of luck for your physiology. The, this was all about the course outline and the books regarding physiology.